We're taking action to shine a light on food fraud tonight. ABC 15's Joe Bartels has some simple things we can do right now to take control over what we're putting on our table. Steve and Katie, most of us can really relate to this. Substituting one ingredient for another can be really dangerous, especially for someone with a food allergy. Plus, don't you want to know if you're really getting what you're paying for? Just some of the big reasons why what you are about to see really matters. Food fraud. It's a global problem, a $49 billion a year business by some estimates aimed mainly at ripping you off. It's difficult sometimes for the average person to detect food fraud because it's intentionally done to not be detected. Karen Everstein is a scientific liaison with the United States Pharmacopial Convention. Welcome to USP's Food Fraud Database. A global watchdog group trying to keep tabs on food supplies and keeping you in the know on what you're really eating and feeding to your family. So certainly for people with food allergies, that is a big concern because they need to know what is in the food to know if it's safe for them to eat. So how are we getting duped? The Grocery Manufacturers Association says unexpected ingredients are flying under the radar. Some of the more heinous issues, wood pulp and shredded Parmesan cheese, altered baby formula, even things like expensive pomegranate juice cut with standard grape juice are common examples. But you are in control if you really study the food labels at the grocery store or you know what to ask about at the restaurant and you can make some choices. Buy from companies that you trust. Um, certainly there's a lot of food companies out there that have publicly made quality part of their corporate values and that's a good thing. Everseen says big name grocers are a safe bet when it comes to combating food fraud. But when in doubt, ask questions. Reputable businesses should know where their food items are coming from. If possible, buy locally sourced items like honey from a beekeeper. And if a price is too good to be true, it probably is. Bottom line, a lot of the time, the answers might be right in front of you. Some companies bank on the fact that you may not read the fine print, so it's very important to read all of the food labeling and packaging to find the solutions right there in front of you. Reporting in Phoenix, Joe Bartels, ABC 15, Arizona. Yeah, and also, if you think you've been duped, it's important to make a complaint with the Food and Drug Administration. You can do so online at FDA.gov.